What is up guys? It's Mac Jack and I am back with another video for you guys again. Um today I'm going to be doing a tutorial video for you guys about um film stuff. Um I made uh, effects before, like f the flash effects. Don't know if you've seen that. Go check it out. Uh, it's a cool effect. Still waiting to get 15 likes, and I will do a tutorial on that. But um, anyway, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on um, uh, the glitch effect. So um, what you're want gonna want to do, what you're gonna want to do, is you're going to want to get a clip that you want to have the person glitch on and uh, go to the effects tab right here and search up bad TV um, on all and you'll get this effect so you're gonna want to drag that onto your clip uh, now we're going to want to be doing a color mask um, so, come up to the inspector, uh, you might have to click here, but come up to the in inspector up here, and we're going to set the static type as TV static. So you're going to want to come up here and click this small icon up here. It will be hidden, but if you come up here, you can click on it, and you're going to want to do add color mask. Now, I'm going to select my brother's shirt here, just like so. So as you can see, his shirt is glitching, which it looks pretty cool. And now you can come up here and adjust the uh, different effects here. Um, there is a lot like amount, um, which will make it more like staticky. There will be a uh, roll which kind of like goes up and down like on a bad TV <laughs> and there will also be softness. The softness will kind of glitch the background too I guess. Um, so I'm going to uh, turn up the amount a little bit just like so. And I'm also going to turn the roll up a tiny bit. Maybe the roll is a little bit too uh, much. Um, so that's how you're gonna wanna do the actual effect. Okay, so to have small bursts of the static, you're going to want to go to the area where you want the burst to be, like so, which is gonna be like right here. And so then you're going to want to use your arrow keys and go back a little bit, a few frames. And using the keyframe on amount, click that, go down to zero, like this. Now go to the area you want to burst in, and click in with, since you've keyframed, drag it from zero up to where you want it to glitch. Then go a few frames more. Oh, whoops. And click the keyframe again, again. Go a few frames more and bring it back down. So that's how you make the person's shirt glitch. But what if other areas around the um, actor are glitching? Well, in my case, it doesn't show but I can still show you how to fix this. So what you're going to want to do is copy the clip that you have and paste it. Then you're going to want to drag one on top. Then you're going to want to go to this bottom one and turn off the bad TV effect itself. Now you're going to want to go to masks and click shape mask and drop it, uh, drag and drop it on top, on this top clip. Then you're going to want to fit it around your actor. Like so.
Now the glitch effect will only stay with your actor. So now that we have that, that's how you finally finish your glitch effect. And you can do it on any video that you want and it should look like this. You can of course make the bursts of the glitch smaller and shorter. Oh, sorry, I moved my microphone. And you can add sound effects like electric, uh, electric. So there's like a different uh, sound effect. So that's going to be it for today's tutorial. I'd like to thank you so much for watching my video and uh, I hope this helped you. Um, please subscribe for more film uh, skits and effects and uh, like this video please if you did because it really does uh, help me. And yeah, so I'll see you guys a bit later with a new effect.